All right, so got a pretty cool video for you guys today. Today I have in the full lineup of the new Citizen Pro Master Automatic Divers. If you missed my video the other day, I had an announcement video where I was letting you guys know I have been given the opportunity to run the store, the Gem Bijou store in downtown Toronto. I also do some of their social media stuff. One of the perks of the job is getting to bring home watches like this to share with you guys on the channel. I also have the six others in the lineup just in front of me here now. If you did miss that video, I'm going to link that in the description below just so you can get an idea of what's happening with me and the store. But let's switch things up and check out the watches. Okay, so first of all, how cool does this look having all of these in front of the camera at the same time? What I think I'm going to do is just an overview of the watches today. We'll cover the basics. We'll take a look at each model. And I thought maybe just for fun, I'll pick my favorite. And maybe we'll even do my top three. And you guys can let me know your picks in the comments below. Afterwards, I'm going to probably pick one of these watches. And I actually might even had one. I have my eye on to the collection and do a more in-depth video later. But that's the plan for today. So let's start off with the case design since that's something they all have in common. I wish I had one to compare, but the cases are almost identical to the original NY0040. There's either the steel versions or the ion plated options, both with brushed tops of the cases and lugs and polished sides. Oh, and there's also the two-tone with the gold tone crown and bezel. The case back has the Fugu Pufferfish. It's a screw down case back. We've got that signature crown at the eight o'clock, which I still find a little awkward to use being a righty. Looks good, but I find a lot of time I end up flipping the watch upside down to set the date and time. So we'll switch over to the Batman kind of version of the watch here while we talk about the movement. I will get all of these in front of the camera as we get through the, the video here, but the movement is the caliber 8204, which is a 21 joule movement beating at 21,600 vibrations per hour with a 42 hour power reserve. I'll just unscrew the screw down crown here. And the winding action is decent. The one sort of negative for me, and I'm just going to show you guys, is, and I tried this on all of these watches, is setting the date, or sorry, rather the day. Setting the date is fine, but when you get to setting the date, there's an odd little clunk to it as the day changes. It works okay, but it just doesn't feel particularly refined. The dial layout is well done. Up top, just below the oversized 12 o'clock marker, we have Citizen printed. Then at the bottom of the dial, the ProMaster logo and automatic and divers 200 meters. Over at the three is the day date. Some of the watches have a black date wheel and some white. And I'm surprised they didn't go with black on all the darker dial colors, but only the burgundy model and this blue dialed version have the black. The hands and markers are large and very easy to read. I usually like to see the hands reach out to the markers, but it's still really legible as is. When it comes to the loom, the fully loomed version is a huge standout. It looks awesome. The loom across the board, though, is really good. It's not quite to the quality of most, say, Seiko divers, but it's still good, strong loom. The bezel is a 120 click bezel, easy to grip, although every once in a while your fingers might slip with those smoother sections of the bezel. The insert is aluminum and everything lines up like it should. As far as the straps and bracelets go, I'd call them good, but not great. The rubber is actually pretty decent. I like that it's got these little holes. I'm not sure if you can make them out there for breathability on either end of the strap. The material doesn't feel like it's going to be a dust magnet, and it's quite comfortable on wrist. The bracelet, which one do we want to grab here? Let's try the white. We haven't looked at that one yet. The bracelet feels well made with solid end links. Everything feels well made until you get to the clasp. 
I've had some Citizen watches with really good clasps for the price, but this is very thin pressed steel. It feels fine on wrist, but an upgrade to the clasp would have been a little better. Size-wise, these come in at a case width of 43.8 millimeters. The lug-to-lug -lug is 49.9 millimeters, although the bracelet models have male end links. That brings that number up to 53.5 millimeters. Lug opening is 20 millimeters, and the thickness is 12.6 millimeters. The crystal is sapphire, and I believe I mentioned it, but the water resist on these is 200 meters. So I'm going to show you my favorite three on wrist here in a second, but I think I'll go one by one to make sure they've all gotten some camera time for a quick look. The watch we're going to start off with is the one in hand, and this is the fully loomed dial. This is reference number NY01555 58X. 850 and that is Canadian dollars. All of these are going to be marked in Canadian dollars. The price range in USD starts from 550 US to 695 depending on the model. Next up we have the green dial green bezel and I'm just going to go through through these really quickly. This one is model NY0151-59X. This is the white version with black bezel. Model number is NY015051A. And next we have the green dial, black case, black bezel. Model number NY015507X. Now this model is a little bit more unique to the others in that it has, it's one of two that has a colored minute hand. So we've got the blue bezel, blue dial with the red minute hand. The fully loom dial has the orange minute hand, the rest of them, except for one other. There's one other that's a little bit different as well, but this one is model number NY015809L. And next up we have the burgundy dial with, or sorry, rather the black dial with burgundy bezel. This is one of the two models with the black date wheel. Model number NY015604E. And now we have the blue dial, two-tone. One kind of unique thing with this watch is this also does have gold tone hands and markers. Reference number is... NY015451L. And last but not least, we have the Batman. I know the bezel kind of looks a little black here, but you can see in the right light, we've got that little blue section there. Model number on this one is NY015957E. So let's talk about my three favorites in the collection. And my third favorite was kind of a toss up between this burgundy bezel black dial or the white dial model. The tiebreaker was actually the fact that this is on rubber and I wanted you guys to see what it looked like on wrist with the rubber strap. The other two of my top three are both on bracelets. Plus I also really like that the watch, this particular model has that black day and date wheel. My second favorite of the eight probably makes my top pick obvious, but I think this looks awesome. I don't normally go for two-tone watches, but it's such a punchy look with the gold bezel and crown. And the blue dial is beautiful too. Perfect summer watch and just a lot of fun to wear. Number one is a very easy pick for me, and I have a feeling it's gonna be one of the more popular watches in the lineup. I just love the dial color and how it works so good with the black case and bracelet. It's such a cool look. A little bit of a difference between this and the others is the markers are all just printed on. There's no applied markers, but I think it looks fantastic. There's a very good chance this one finds a permanent spot in my watch box. So that is it. I'd love to hear your favorites or even your top three of the new Pro Masters in the comments. Let me know down below. Now, if you happen to be looking for one of these, definitely reach out. As of right now, we have all models available in store and online. And if you're in Toronto, stop by the shop. I'd love to hang out and chat watches. Thanks so much for stopping by, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.